going on, everybody? Hat and Hoodie Go Ham here. Welcome back to the channel. Let's find some toes, baby. Let's take find some toes. Today, we got 69 mods on the testing list. A surprise mod drop this morning. Giants are getting into the holiday spirit. Easter, that is. And we've got eight modders to talk about, including a modular greenhouse. Yeah, let's check it out. Starting off today with the mods and testing. Currently, we've got 69 mods on the list. Nice. 44 in PC or stage one of testing, and 25 are in console testing or stage two. The list starts off with console mods for some reason with Great Production, Rosendahl, Black Mountain, Montana, Shopping Cart, and New Holland Siri L. LNTL. Then we jump down to PC testing, where we have some notable ones like Realistic Animal Losses, Planet Modular BGA, the regular modular BGA, and the Swather Pack. Oh, yeah. Also, in PC testing, we have the UFO Light Material Bucket, John Deere Tillage Disc 2660 VT, and N542C Drill, the Parker 6500 Green Cart, and Dynamic Crushable Rocks Pack. Did I mention there's another random console mods in the middle of the PC list? Yep. It's cold production. And rounding out PC testing, we have biodiesel and slurry production, log leveler, and the Case IH Magnum 34400 series special. Jumping down to console mods and testing, there are some notable ones like self marketing, greenhouse and nursery, and the John Deere HD50F articulated header. And rounding out console testing, we have the Fen Farmer 300, John Deere 4755, John Deere 110 12 foot disc, and the 53 foot drop deck trailer auto load. With all that being said, we still have 138 mod city waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is about five work days. Earlier today, a mod dropped on the mod hub like five or six hours before they normally do. It was the calf igloo by Maxter for PC only. It's basically an animal pen for one animal, a calf. It can be fed, needs straw, and produces manure. It is recommended to use the more animal enclosure possible mod for Mod Elisha and requires the enhanced animal system to work. I will be showcasing this mod in the next new mod video, so stay tuned for that. Giant soft we are getting into the Easter spirit with only four days until the Easter Bunny comes around. We've got some special farming simulator themed cards to spread the joy. And of course, they're all great and terrible all at the same time. I've been looking for Easter. Elphys is back, baby. Let's go. Celebration time. Come on. Nice. <laughs> there a little disco in there. Hasta la Easter Bunny. The Terminator cow is here. And of course, the very sweet, you look excellent today. You can find all of these on the Giants blog link below share them with your friends and family just a reminder if you prefer written news articles or you just want to take a closer look at something that we show off in the video make sure to check out farmsofnews.com here you guys can find a written article for everything that we talk about in the news videos daily as well as screenshots and links to everything it's laid out in a really easy to navigate way and you can take in all the information on your own schedule or maybe you can't watch the video where you're at but you still want to know what's going on in the world farming simulator perfect for that there's also a search function so you can go back and find anything i can actually do this all the time when i'm trying to figure out hey what did i say about that and of course i can't do a spotlight for the website without thanking the editor yos modding yes that yos he actually helps a lot with the website and it would physically not be possible without him so big thank you to him check it out link below or go to farmsimnews.com all right jumping over to modern news dusty dave mining shows off the last farm being implemented into his rudimore map Krugwallens? I, I don't I don't actually know how to say the name of it. The farm is split in half by the main road going through. One side is an arable yard and the other side is the dairy farm. The farm in its entirety is done and everything's down. It just needs triggers, some last minute details, and nav mesh to make it complete for the game. The map is getting there as a whole. There's still some things left to do, like the border, cell points, splines, field depths, and farmlands. He's aiming to get this a mod hub release for all platforms, which is super exciting. One of the biggest names in map making is back, baby. Updates to Taylor Farms, Frankenmuth map, Michigan Farms, and Prairie Farm map are all out as of yesterday. These are some important updates that fixed the specialty bells that came with the Gerval DLC and added the object storage barn to be bought and placed on the map directly wherever you would like. No new save game is required for any of these maps, and currently, these look to be the last updates to the maps, at least for now. If something comes up in the future, like a game patch or DLC, I'm sure he'll be working on that, but I will say, for a modder that's been retired from Farm Sim 22 until the next game, he certainly worked a lot the past month. Just messing with the Taylor. Don't go anywhere. We need you, bro. EY Modding's dropped a short video showcasing his John Deere 4020 pulling tractor doing some actual farm work. He takes out a load of grain card and loaded a sugar beet card as well and drags them all over Elm Creek. So 
I guess you can use pulling tractors as normal tractors, at least in farm sim. I'm pretty sure there's some funny videos of those on YouTube as well. Just go search. It's great. The video doesn't show off any new customization or features and really doesn't show anything that we didn't already know, but it's still a super cool video. Check it out. Link below. Kasten 18 is hard at work finishing up their Zeter URII series or URI series with one more model to go the turbo they've been working on this mod since around the beginning of february at least this as far back as i can see and you can see how far they've come at least in that short amount of time this mod won't just be a tractor pack but also have lots of details being added to make these tractors as realistic as possible even down to the gauges and dials in the cab there's still a little bit more work to be done, but it doesn't look like it's going to be long now. Casarius Modding shows off a few more screenshots of their Case IH 2400 Concord card and SDX30 air drill, with more and more details being added every single week. Unfortunately, not much information was shared other than these screenshots, so feel free to pause or check out the website to see these screenshots up close. If green is your thing, well then you'll be happy to hear that LR Modding has made great progress on his Great Plains Max Chisel. So far, everything is done besides the Giants editor work, which is only Almost done, about 95%, and he's getting it in game. Screenshots that we have today show you just how detailed this is going to be and how great it's going to look. But if you're looking for something that's maybe a bit more stinky, well, then CMT Software, aka Smeddy from ModHub, has you guys covered there too. He's working on his Samson pack for Farm Sim 22, which will feature a gooseneck to attach to different Zarian models or maybe something else. So far, Smeddy themselves actually have two Zarian models on ModHub that I think will work of the 3000 and their saddle track. I guess they should work with both, but uh, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. Either way, another different way to use things we already have. I'm all down for it. And lastly today, Caster Modding has announced another new mod that he's working on, Modular Greenhouses. The mod pack is slowly starting to take shape and will feature 15 individual modules to put together to create the ultimate greenhouse in Farming Simulator. Do you use greenhouses now? And would you think that something like this would make you use them more, maybe less? I don't think less, but I am curious to hear what you have to say. Also, we really don't know much about the specs of this pack, so how's it gonna work? I have no idea. We're just gonna have to wait and see. And I bet you were waiting to see what the Silver segue to the outro was gonna be today. It's it's this one. I use this one a lot. And uh, I also use Farm Some News a lot. Uh, Farmsomenews.com. Links to everything we talked about today can be found there and here in the description. You can check out the whole video on the website. Did I say that five times already? Thanks, Yos. Remember, there's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod's going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something you want to know about, it just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video, and I just don't know anything about it. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you need to know about going on in this crazy world of farming simulator well guys that's it for today hope you enjoyed the video if you did drop a like on it get subscribed if you're new join the go ham fam make sure your notification bells are on as well that way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel but said hope you have a great day we will see you later Bye. So today, officially, for the first time in 2023, I get to mow my yard. Let's go!